Hello, my name is Sean Christian. I have a degree in business management. I'm Brian Ackerman. I have a degree in computer science. My name is Amanda Bobel, and I have a degree in marketing. And we are the Arizona State Consulting Team, here to speak to you, the human resources and marketing managers of the wedding company. After reading through some of the issues that we were presented about your company, we decided that there were three main areas that we wanted to focus on to come up with solutions for you. They are the sales competition, the customer loyalty of your sales staff, and a code of ethics. So I'm first going to pass it off to Sean to speak about the sales competition. So first, within your company, in the sales competition, it's a very fierce competitive nature. You're doing well business-wise, but the competition is creating uh, turmoil among your employees and making a difficult working environment, which is going to be critical when moving forward and trying to grow. And so one thing we want to focus on is maintaining that, that fierce drive and that extra effort mentality, but making more of a teamwork culture base in terms of your company so you can provide for growth and scaling it for the future. So first off, we want to talk about the management plan values and what the value it is in it. And what it is we want to make it competitive and maintain that competitiveness, but we also want to include teamwork and a more collaborative efforts. And we also make sure that there's trust and integrity so it's not uh, kind of biting off each other's heads, so to speak, in the workforce as sales may be uh, stereotyped as. As well as we want to make sure that you maintain your brand loyalty through your employees, which is going to be very important. So first off, the alternative is you could keep your current situation and be competitive and keep that uh, typical sales force of what everyone would think it is and have a that kind of fierce competition. You would have maintained that incentive for your employees and they'd be able to work hard, but also it would be more of an individualistic base within your company, as well as there is an issue of honesty. The other op the alternative that we've come up with is making more of a one team, and we call it one profit center in your company. And so the way we do that is you're not measuring based on who's going to make the most sales, similar to that, but you're focusing on as a company as a whole. For example, instead of providing incentives per person, you can do profit sharing at the end of the year and there should be bonuses based off the company, um, how they did as a whole and give it out to anyone, but still maintain that competitiveness with something such as utilization, which is some other companies are using, in which you're measuring specifically on how much is a person doing individual on their own personal goals, and through feedback, they can increase their own goals and work hard against themselves, but still make that collaborative effort and working together collaboratively for that one profit sharing. And that's going to be very critical and important to maintaining competitiveness, but also maintaining profit and a good culture. So that's what we provide as a solution, as a recommendation to start to implement, and there will be a big process, but we feel it will help you get on the right foot. And now to Amanda for our second issue. So for the customer loyalty and sales, the first thing that needs to happen, because this is an area of marketing, is marketing research. Going out and speaking to the customers, whether it's through focus groups, through one-on-one -on -one interviews, finding out exactly why they like the wedding company, why they want to come back to you, what specifically is it about that? Because this is a very special day for a man and a woman. Are you suggesting we go to them to, like we literally go to them to get feedback? Either go to them or have them come into your store or have them fill out some sort of uh, survey when they're there. Um, just some way to get some feedback from them. But especially this for the, for the alterations. So what we're saying or suggesting is that you should keep this, the alterations from personal experience. I go to places where there are alterations. I'm short, so Buckle, for instance, you can get free alterations on jeans. So for free, that's, it's, it's, it's an incentive for me to go and spend a little extra money and get the free alteration. And this is exactly for a wedding dress. A woman wants to look beautiful on her day, and she's going to want her dress to fit perfectly exactly as she sees it. So, and for loyal customers, if there's free alteration, the word of mouth is a big deal when it comes to wedding dress and sales of wedding dress, so this could also bring in more customers. So for this, we were thinking of doing some sort of employee motivation with alterations. So when a, someone comes in to get the alterations done, after the alterations, they could do a survey on the employee who helped them, and this way it could give more of an incentive for the person to not focus so much on the sales part, which is what they're focusing on now, to focus on the sales and the alteration part, and then whoever receives the highest in the survey will get some sort of employee of the month bonus type of incentive deal. And something else for the sales is you are in a very large shopping center, so partnering with some of the other businesses around you might be a good idea. Your wedding company, you could partner with um, the shoe store down the street, do some sort of coupon, buy your shoes here, get your dress here, here's a certain percent off, something to get your word out there, your brand out there with different companies. So this would be great awareness for you. It would also create relationships with those in the shopping center. It could be a little risky. You could lose customers because they might not who you're part, like who you're partnering with, however. So for here, we say keep the alterations. Try to do some type of survey with some incentive for the employee to also want to do the alterations and also to partnership in the marketing efforts. Though this might take a while to set up a program like this, potentially it'll bring in new customers while keeping that customer loyalty. 
So now I'm going to pass it off to Brian, who's going to talk about the Code of Ethics. Lastly, we wanted to touch on the Code of Ethics, which your company has a lot of problems with, the employees being overly competitive. So the first thing that Sean mentioned before is we need to redefine uh, the process of competitiveness. And you can start, off, um, start this off by doing a lot of team events and retreats where you're going to start to solve some of those disagreements and then start to create and repair some of the relationships that might have been damaged. And then you can go forward and actually introduce this code of ethics where you definitely want to unify the vision of everybody so everybody's working to a common goal. So actually for the code of ethics we have three prongs, the first of which is integrity. And this is all about the honesty issue. And this is something that companies like GE value quite a bit. The second part is sharing is caring. This is something from KPMG as well as Kim, uh, Kimberly Horn. And this is all about employee cooperation to make sure that everybody's cohesive and working to that same goal. Finally, it's all about the extra effort, and this is definitely something for performance. You definitely want to look at the first two things, but then make sure that everybody is extending their effort because it's all working toward that teamwork. We feel that this should be a strong thing um, as a good way to start off um, just these three things and then you can go forward later if there's anything else that might need to be added. So I'm going to pass it back to Sean to conclude. So in conclusion, as we've already said, we agree the first issue with sales competition, you want to first redefine your process and make that one profit sharing aspect, but maintain individual competition so you have that fierceness in the sales force. And with customer loyalty and sales, keep the alteration because that's your brand. That's what you're building it on. You want to maintain your brand image and customers like it in the wedding industry. And then for code of ethics, you want to introduce and, and redefine code of ethics, but make sure you heal and repair those problems and get rid of the issues first. Thank you. Any questions?